This movie tells a story about an assassin who battles his employers and himself on an international manhunt. First of all, this movie simply doesn't work. The movie lumbers along with clunky script, which makes the experience really dull. There really isn't that much to it, as the movie has little to say about anything it presents on screen or the fleeting thematic subtext it tries to deliver. There's little dramatic challenge and it doesn't offer much beyond the familiar turns of an off-told story. It feels really sloppy as it tries to subvert the typical Hitman movie but not knowing where to go. The movie finds itself floundering somewhere between drama and comedy with a confusing character at its core. The main character is a bag of contradictions who goes through no real moment of reckoning. His cynical musings are interesting on their own, but they don't amount to a lot when all is said and done. The movie seems unsure whether it wants us to actually like or root for the killer or not. It's quite funny how the killer is incompetent at his job, but the movie doesn't commit to the bit. If we are meant to find comedic value, then this falls rather flat. The movie's never quite clear what it wants to be, its irony proves to be continually evasive. It's missing the sense of sharp satire that the director displayed in his previous films. It feels incoherent as the script fails to merge a tone that turns unevenly between psychological crime thriller and comedy. We never really understand why the killer kills as the movie seems disinterested in showing us what truly motivates him. We are left with a protagonist that undergoes no real psychological change and whose impulses are unclear. The movie simply lets the camera run without giving it a sense of presence or perspective. It has little opinion or outlook on anyone or anything beyond the immediate circumstances of a given scene. Despite the near-constant voiceover, some of the scenes are disconnected in their narrative framing as well. To make it worse, the movie fails to balance out its story with fantastic action and suspense. The movie sometimes delivers on its action, but it's few and far between. No one seems to be chasing the killer after the film's opening scenes and it really lowers the stakes. It's frustratingly understated, holding back just when we think that the movie is going to burst into action. Overall, we do not recommend to watch this in theaters. Just wait on your streaming service.